happy Monday. I'm finally back in the lab. I feel like it's been over two weeks since I've been actually doing lab work. And an exciting thing is the UPLC is finally up and running. So I'm going to check my compound that I was synthesizing. Let's go, let's get started. It just makes me so happy to see these spots here. It's been a month or two since we can get any signal on the mass and I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I can finally analyze all of my compounds. <laughs> Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. I just finished group meeting. It is now 11 a.m. Today looks like another desk day. I want to focus on finishing that darned revision. And then I have to check on my mice. We're approaching week two of my animal study and I'm so close to finishing. I'm so close to finishing. I've been trying to work on the next project as well, but I just haven't been able to get in the right headspace for that. There's just so much going on with like this current project, but it's fine. Anywho, that's the update for now. Uh, we'll check back in later. Hello, it is almost 1.30 and I just finished sending off this round of revisions back to the boss. I'm just gonna be prepared for another big round of revisions. <laughs> this is gonna take so fast. <laughs> oh, did he already email back? No, so fast. Okay, okay. Okay, I thought he already emailed back and I'm like, oh my gosh. I have a meeting at 2.30 and I think I can run back down to the lab, do this really quick reaction, and then come back up here for this meeting. So let's go do this reaction. Alright, reaction is done. I just wanted to show you something. There's like a bunch of like this free stuff outside our lab. These vials are so cute, but like they don't have any lids. And like I took them because they're so cute, but what the heck am I gonna do with this? Use it as decoration? I have no idea. There's like an extra stir bar thingy mabobber and a UPLC vial holder thingy. This is the treasures I got today. But what am I gonna do with this? Please tell me. So cute, so cute. <laughs> This is how Lucas stays motivated. This is his desktop background. Oh my goodness. That's so stressful. <laughs> Bye. This is all the free stuff. <laughs> In contrast, look at my background. I needed this as a reminder to stop procrastinating on things because I always tend to push tasks to tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, not as intense as Lucas. Hello, it is 4 p.m. ish. I am gowned up in the animal facility. <sighs> so stylish. Done just before five. I don't know if I shared this because last time I did animal study, I was just writing on sticky notes and then entering on my laptop. But this time I have an actual notebook with all the tumor values and stuff. Who am I? Yeah, I only have like, wait, I was opening. One, two, three, four. 15 mice left. So the animal workload is definitely decreasing. Tomorrow's exactly 14 days. And last time I would think it went to like a little over three weeks. So I think next week will be the end. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Midweek already. Oh, my reaction didn't change color. Uh oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually, overnight it will change color to indicate that it is done. Wait, what did it look like yesterday? Let me let me check the footage. 
Okay, yeah, there is kind of a color change, like a darker orange. In my notes last time, it does seem that it changes just to a murky brown mixture. I think I'm gonna leave it to stir for longer. Hmm, yeah. I was expecting it to be ready so I can just like evaporate it right now, but I guess not. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go up to my office then and work on that revision. The boss is actually really good at sending back notes really fast. He sends it back within like a day so the deadline is quickly approaching to submit a revision let's go upstairs what a gloomy day today all that rain and construction what 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 are they doing Hello, hello. It is almost 2 p.m. I actually finished my part of the revision and now I'm back in the lab So I'm gonna work out that reaction that I showed in the morning and that should be the last compound I need to synthesize before I can do my next nanoparticle experiment. Let's get to it Yesterday I was so tired after checking on my mice that I just left my column stuff So now I'm gonna go in and deal with that Yeah, look at this I left all my fractions and TLC plates here I believe this is my compound But I even left this here because I didn't want to get rid of it <laughs> uh, Yeah, so there's three fractions I think this is my compound But I'm gonna double check now with the TLC. I have been kind of in like a slump lately, feeling a little bit bogged down because of just like all this desk work and stuff. But I want today to be a lab filled day. So I have like a bunch of experiments planned. I'm gonna work on this stuff and then hopefully move on to make my nanoparticles in bulk so I can start the next round of experiments with these new nanoparticles. Let's get right to it. So here's what I see right now. This is my compound that I collected in this vial here. These are the co-spots of this and this. So this is one of the starting material and this is the reference from last time, like the pure compound. So it looks like I collected the same fraction as last time. Yay! Let's just evaporate this thing now. This pump just like doesn't want to wake up sometimes and just have to like smack it a few times to get it to start. But here we go. I'm so happy our UPLC is back up and running because then now every time I do a reaction I can just quickly check if I actually got my compound for sure. Like this is so much better than doing it anymore. Ah, so thank you to Pohan and Lucas and Noju for taking the time to really figure out the UPLC. Actually, it was mostly Pohan that spent a lot of time working with the technician to get it up and running again. So, super grateful for you. <laughs> I believe I have my compound pretty pure 
and the mass is confirmed here so we are good to go I have a meeting in 10 minutes and then that will be lunch time after lunch I'm gonna come back and make those nanoparticles and then check on my mice quite a productive morning so far feeling pretty good Hello, happy Friday. I just got back from a walk with lovely, lovely Hiro. Hello, Hiro. And I just wanted to hop on quickly before I go get ready for work to document what I'm doing with my marathon training. So today is week two, almost done week two. So tomorrow I have my long run, which is 14 kilometers. Today was just a really short six kilometers and it was super nice today. So I brought my camera along and that was a whole journey to run with a camera, but I did it. And I just wanted to share my socks. Look how cute! They're compression socks and they're so long but they're really comfortable. I've never like spent or invested money in good socks. It just makes the run a lot better. I'm gonna go get ready to go into the lab now. I'll check in with you in the lab. Hello and we are here in the lab. I'm going to finish. So yesterday I made... Oh my god, I'm so zoomed in. Ah! Okay. Now that you're not like two millimeters from my face. Yesterday I finished making these particles and today I'm just gonna filter them and measure the size and check the concentration so that they'll be ready for next week when I start my drug release studies. Here they are. One, two, three. I'm just going to filter them now and check the size and combine all them together, concentrate them, check the concentration, and should be good to go. So today should be pretty chill. That's like the only experiment I have planned. And then I'm gonna sit down with my review paper again and hopefully get a big chunk of it done. So today is an extra good day because my mice are at the end point. But that might sound bad, but that just means I'm done with animal studies finally. It's perfect timing. I literally checked on them at like two-ish and then I was like, yeah, they look fine. I'll still come in tomorrow, which is Saturday. But then literally like an hour later, I got a call from the animal facility telling me that they're not fine and I should end them. So that completes my animal studies. That means I finally get a full weekend off. Oh my gosh. Today's a really good day. Today's a really good day. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.